Happy Monday, everybody! Welcome back on the lovely 11th of June. How's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody enjoyed their weekend. Good to see you all. Good morning to you too, Dave. Ron, Paul, good to see you. Jeremy, good to see you. Look at all the Mark, Stephen. Good to see you all. Lita. All right, Paul, everyone. Excellent. And all the cyber traders coming in. Uh, welcome. All right, so uh, guys, uh, hopefully everybody had a beautiful weekend. It was gorgeous here in New York. It looks like it's going to be a nice, nice week. And, um, you know, obviously, you saw there's been a lot of fireworks that have been going on this weekend. I mean, uh, I was just talking to a fellow trader of mine. And, uh, you know, this presidency has been the most volatile presidency I've seen Um you know, last time I saw some big things that happened this when uh, President Obama was here was when we had the 2008 crash with the and then uh, you know with all the the gun shootings and then with the IRA and you know made all those gun stocks take off. But this one, I mean, you got the summit that's coming up, and I think a lot of people are going to be holding off, want to see how that plays out. And then also you saw what happened to G7. I mean, the G7 was unbelievable. You know, and it's just going to cause great volatility in all types of markets. So, guys, just fasten your seatbelts, you know, regardless. Just don't let your political beliefs get involved into trading. It's one thing I've learned in anything, you know. Um, whatever you, you know, we're all in the same market. We're trading together. You know, even if there's a company that you can't stand and you would, would never do, would do business with it, you know, it's like saying, you know what, I would never buy a... Uh, a Shake Shack burger. It's you know it's it's not healthy. This and that. But you know what? The stock when it goes from to twenty to seventy, well, you know, what are you going to stick? Are you going to stick with you know just trading GE all day? It, it remember we're in the business to make money. So always keep that in mind. That's why we're here every day. We here to work very hard to kind of focus on what's happening in the market. Very very important that you guys always remember that because you know we 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 teach that in class and you see it every day in the market. So we strict on trading on momentum. You got to trade on the momentum. So I think it's going to happen. And things are not going to be too volatile. There are a couple of good stocks this morning that are making some moves. You could see that, but I don't think the brand names are really going to take off as much. All right. But let's go over a couple of them. Uh, Benito says IQ is being watched. Let me tell you, I want to go over some of those stocks yesterday. But um, did you guys see what happened in IQ after the close? I mean, right at the close, somebody dumped. Probably, I don't know, maybe a few million shares of that stock, and the thing just went from like 35, dropped all the way to 33. Just shows you, you know, and here, here the stock goes from 30, 50, all the way to 35, and you know, it took all day to get there. Actually, it only took about 70% of the move, it was only in the first hour and a half, like what we do. But yeah, all those stocks are doing great. I mean, Hoya, H U Y A. Another one you guys traded, another big mover. That was great, 20, 28 to 35. I mean, all these stocks that we're in right now are doing great. So let's keep a close eye on them. Remember, these are you know swing traders, swing trades, not more day trades. I mean, sometimes they become a day trade, but they're very, very volatile, all right? So once again, there was a lot of other ones that were a little bit better, a little bit more controllable. You know, let's just bring some of them like the SFIX. That wasn't terrible. Went from 2050 to 26. Nice big move. You know, kind of had that nice little run right at the close where I went from 23 all the way to 25.50. That one was pretty good. Uh, the BILI, I know um, uh, Benio just brought that up earlier, but it started to make a little bit of move. That was a nice little move on Friday. Went from 16 to 19. Stock was $10 just less than a month ago. So uh, up a double, you know. So a lot of good moves in the, in the market. Shockingly, on the Friday, when a lot of people are not really sticking around for the for the summer uh, the summer weekend, you know they're going away. You know we had some good volatility, which was pretty awesome. Anyway, let's go over a couple of things that are moving, that are uh, that that are moving this morning that we've been watching since this morning. Now I, I listen. I get up early. You know I start trading around like seven thirty to see what's going on, and I didn't see that much that was going on. Typical Monday, remember hump day is Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. But there were a couple of them that I do want to bring up. Uh, the R O 
the uh, so get your pen and uh, pen and paper ready. The one that I've been watching this morning that's kind of making that nice little push. Got a couple of nasty shakes right here, but this one looks like one of the nicest ones so far. It's up thirty six percent. Everyone should be should have got in right around a buck eighty, buck ninety. You know, it's got great iceberg orders. I mean, look at that fourteen thousand shares. Look here on the matrix, just gorgeous. And you know, it backs off pretty quickly, but you got to make sure you're buying it at that those support levels. But you know, let me tell you, this is not no level one stock. Don't this two dollar stock fool you. The BILL is going to go back on the watch list. Um, you know, because it had a nice little push. Let's see how she opens up. Even though she's kind of flat right now, but you know, she's she's holding at the highs, which always kind of you know when, when we when we learn in class how to actually find things that have a push going into the close for the following day. This was actually one of them. Want to keep an eye on that one. N and DM is another one that I found. Uh, this stock kind of like had some really good volatility from 7.30, ran from $2 to 260. Built that support levels. I think I called it out early. I said, you know, that NMMD is kind of holding pretty strong. Guys, stock traded 2.3 million shares already. There was, the, look, look, at the, look at all the orders on the matrix. I mean, this thing has got orders everywhere. Uh, so far, it's probably in the two category. Probably we'll give it a one. Let's see how she opens up with all that volume. But uh, but all stock looks really really good right there. The R F I, the R F I L, another one that's got a great push. I know some of you guys have been looking at it earlier. You got to be careful with some of these stocks. This is a scalping stock first of all, and you know with that said, you know a big big spread. So this is going to be in the three category immediately. But you got a beautiful Fausto flag that kicked in there. You could see it gorgeous right there. And then, uh, you know, stock is, uh, like I said, breaking all-time highs. Nice little push right there. Great, great stock. Uh, OCC is another one that I found this morning. It's got another nice little push. 38%. It's up 39,000 shares. Just big concern. It's a scalping stock, and it's got a big spread. So you always got to keep in mind of that. All right. What, where else I'm at? The Did I say the RCII? Did I put that one out there? Okay, this one... Um, up 4%, million shares already traded, a little bit on the slow side. And I know some of you mentioned also the uh, the T the, the TEVI, great move on Friday. You can see how it went from 21 to 20, 21 to 80 to 23, uh, 20 stocks at the highs. You know, once again, another thing that is kind of piggybacking how we kind of look at BILI. Now, some of you guys are looking at a couple other ones right now. And um, let me just bring it up. I mean, Ken says the, the AXON um, did pretty well on that one. You know, once again, it's up 7%, 400,000 shares traded. Stock uh, kind of had a great run the last couple of days. You know, nice little move. I don't know right as of right now going into the open, but if you did pretty well on it, we can keep an eye on it. We could throw on the watch list, but to me, it's more second protocol. The AXON. Guys, we did so well with that stock, right? I mean, two to six. Come on, that, that, that's what we trained for. Great little move right there. What else? Uh, Benio says the S E the S N E S. Yeah, that one. Uh, great push right there. Just made a nice little pop. Twenty six percent, a buck forty five, all the way to a buck eighty. Nice little call. That stock is very very volatile. You can see it. This stock went from fifty cents all the way up to about two dollars. Um, it little, it's literally all over the place. But it's got some good supports and resistance levels. So. Um, we could watch it, but the volume is there, so that one's not bad. The S N E S. What else do we have there? Uh, the yes, the H U Y A. I, that one I already have on the watch list. Is that my God? This thing just has such a push. You know, the H U Y A trades very good with uh, I Q. So they're all moving really, really nicely. Uh, looks like the H U Y A is moving a little bit more. I think less people know about the. The, uh, the HUYA than the IQ. IQ has been getting a lot of lot of uh, a uh, lot of advertising uh, on the stations and emails and you know news services. But uh, but yeah, this one also pretty damn strong, you know. So but the, but once again, guys, the, the great day trade, but it's more of a swing trade. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. All right, anything I'm missing? I did not call out. What's wrong with the CyberTradingUniversity.com? It says privacy error, not secure. Yeah, Ken, um, actually, yeah, we, we just, the, the IT guys are kind of fixing it right now. Uh, SSL kind of got uh, gets expired every year, and apparently the IT guys were on top of it. We didn't get an alert, so we apologize if you guys had an issue. 
on the website, but we're taking care of that right now. All right. Yeah, you shouldn't have the message anymore. We just got on the process of working it, working it out right now. It'll be be resolved. All right. In the meantime, guys, we got everything we got. Uh, listen, I know we have a lot of members that are starting today. Just please keep in mind, you know, look, listen, and learn. Also, make sure you talk to your education advisor. Hopefully, you watched the videos this uh, over the weekend so you don't get confused and says, you know, you think this is too fast. Trust me, this is not too fast for for anyone. The only reason why it's too fast is no one ever taught you how to trade and you're obviously trading things that are out of your league. And remember, there's 25,000 stocks there to trade. So, you know, we call it's just got to know how to play the game. So uh, sit back and learn because it is for everyone, but not for every, you know, but it's not for everyone if you're not going to do it the right way. So sit back and, uh, like I said, just uh, have some fun and uh, make sure you do your homework and talk to education advisors. In the meantime, everyone, good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, if there's anything new out there, like we always say, see something, say something. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.